Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com and so much for me getting those Rescue Ranger tokens back there. Okay, I see some kind of porcupine. You just gotta hold down and hit attack. That's how you hit enemies that are on the ground. And I think that was a butterfly or some kind of moth or some kind of turd sandwich with wings. Either way, it's dead. Eh, hey, you suck. Here, not just a single token. And now I gotta take this little thing that's supposedly a marshmallow and hop over the spikes. Okay, so these things are moths. They like to uh, put their uh, magic drugs on ya. Watch out for that. Otherwise, you take damage. That's bad drugs for ya. Everybody knows the good drugs is white powder, not brown. Don't ask how I know that. I'm just giving you information that could be helpful to you. Or not. Moving on. Let's see. Suppose I'll take you out. Perfect, I gotta love that turbo. Oh, baseball. What can I do with this? Basically, it's just a throwing weapon that you can keep around at all times. Here, I'll show you. If it's any useful. You don't get perfect range with it. I prefer boxes. But if you got good aim with the ball, go right ahead. You can keep it around at all times. Just in case you don't have any boxes to use. Oh, I can't grab it. Like, it's halfway off screen. I can still get to the other half, but it won't let me grab it for some stupid reason. I consider that dickish. But so far, so good. I haven't taken a single hit here. Oh, now I gotta take on the boss. Basically, it's this weasel that likes to uh, drink some kind of alcohol or whatever that is and shoot fire at you. It's never a good thing. But he always fires it straight. Like, you can pick up a box and then you can just, like, uh, duck down and throw it at him. Or wait till he's to your level and then you throw it. Either way, he's quite easy to dodge because he has a very predictable pattern. He never drops back down, he always jumps up. You can take advantage of that by getting down, if you really need to. But don't stay down all the way because the scrolling will kill you. So far, so good. There's another box. Ha, right in the back of the head. How you like me now, you fucking weasel? Yeah, I got you right in the neck. That's what you get for having a long neck. God really wanted you to die. Very painfully. And... Dead! Right in the throat. I win. Again. Okay, so I should get another continue? Oh, I get my health extended too. Even better. There we go. The urn of the pharaoh is missing! And we don't have any leads! The zipper. Period, 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 period. Monty, what's zipper saying? Well, love, he says, okay, apparently Monty is gay. That fat cat and his henchmen headed into a warehouse by the docks. Really? Are you sure, Zipper? Period, period, period. Alright, come on! Let's go! Fat Cat better watch out! Oh, slow text for the lose. Whoa! It's pitch dark in here! Oh, really? I can't see a bloomin' thing! Lumen. <coughs> hey! The door shut itself! 
Okay, so we're in some kind of place with cans of cherries. <laughs> Welcome, my little rescue rangers. I've waited a long time for this. Fat cat? I uh, know, it's Santa Claus. The one and only. Fat cat! You stole the urn of the Pharaoh! That's right. And it's full of ancient evil spirits. Why would you want it then? When I release them, I'll rule the world. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure ancient spirits will let you do whatever you want. You'll never get away with this, fat cat! And what will you do to stop me? You're in a giant refrigerator. You'll be frozen solid in three minutes. Ha 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 ha. Apparently, chipmunks take exactly three minutes to freeze. No more, no less. Ah, oh, nuts! What are we gonna do now? I think I see an opening. Over there! Maybe we can escape through it. Hurry! Let's just stand there and then we decide to go. You'll be frozen solid in exactly 180 seconds. Oh no, you can't possibly freeze in 179 seconds or 181 seconds. No, that would make too much fucking sense. Moving on, apparently you got rats and penguins to deal with. But really, your best business is to just ignore them and go straight ahead. Because yes, you do have a time limit for this level. Granted, this level isn't too massive, you'll probably be done by a minute and a half, if you're taking your time. Probably, like, just a minute, if you're really taking your time and going for every single box you see and trying to kill whatever enemy you can. It's really not necessary at this point. Just watch out for those icicles, too, because they can fall on you and hurt you. And it's a Capcom game, everything hurts you in this. a fridge like this anyway. Oh shit. I almost slipped right off. But yeah, I passed the level in just around two minutes to spare. Granted, I only had three minutes, so I had nothing to worry about. Oh great, now I got a chance for more lives. Nicked it. Crikey! There's ghosts everywhere! You know, just that one glowing thing over there, apparently, that counts as everywhere. Fat Cat must have opened the urn! Look! They're coming from the warehouse! Oh, really? And Dale has a concussion. You mean the warehouse is haunted? Pull yourself together, Dale! You're a ranger! Yeah, and then th 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 those are ghosts! And that is why I'm shipped for this level, because Dale's a freaking pussy. Oh, look, it's a Litwick! Cool. But I don't have any Pokeballs. FML. Oh well, I'll just mean it. Apparently they take like two hits to kill, and these ghost dogs take one. I never really got that kind of enemy design. It's like, I'm a disembodied uh, head of a dog, and I'm gonna have hands, too. Like, I'm not gonna have arms or any other limbs, just hands and a head. That's it. Very selective of your parts, mind you. Funny as a ghost, yet a box can fuck it up. I never really understood that. Like, really now? A box. And apparently the lights like to turn off and those paintings can summon like weird looking flubber ghosts. They're quite a hassle. So just make sure you keep moving when the lights are on. And be careful of the uh, portraits when it's off. Really that's all you need to know. 
Here, I get my health back. Hey, how'd you get here before me? Yeah, I like snack cakes. And I had to continue this level. Really, we are not done. That was pointless. Okay, that basically just takes somewhere you can refill your health. Funny, if that was somewhere I could refill my health, what was the point of the nut? I mean, maybe that cake doesn't give you full health, I don't know. But either way, it's kind of pointless. Right, now I gotta take on this boss. It's basically a ghost with a Gene Simmons tongue. He likes to release little mummy balls, or mummy testicles, and you gotta throw it at him. When he does this kind of attack with the sparks, he's not gonna throw a mummy ball. Just stand there in the corner. He always likes to pop up from the right, he only has three attacks, but you can easily telegraph them. When he does this, for instance, you just walk right under him and pick up a mummy ball, and throw it at whatever. So yeah, he has a very easy pattern. Though you can't really tell what attack he's going to use until he starts moving. But either way, you'll know what attack is coming once he does it. It's not that complicated, really. Just gotta watch out for the mummy balls that fall on you, because you will take damage if it lands on your head. So yeah, this boss could take a while depending on if it does that spark attack quite frequently. That's the only attack he can use where you cannot hit him. Ouch. Yeah, he tends to do that quite often. Oh, but he's dead. Or exercised. Whatever. You get the idea. Sweet. I don't know if you can get the silver or the gold star at the same time. I've never tried it. I tend to go for the gold one each time. We did it! All the ghosts should disappear soon! <coughs> Don't you rescue rodents ever learn? Uh-oh! It's Fat Cat! Come out here and face us! Are you a cat or a mouse? Not so fast, rangers. If you dare to face me, Come to the amusement park. I'll be waiting. Ooh, that fat cat! We gotta stop him! Wait, Dale! It smells like a trap to me! Yeah, but what choice do you have? You're doomed, rescue rangers! I control this entire amusement park, for some reason. You'll never capture me! Oh yeah? Don't bet on it, Fat Cat! We won't let you raise ticket prices and drive more people out of their homes! Ha! You need three keys to enter my control room. And they're all hidden in different parts of the park. Have fun! We've got to get the keys! Right oh Dale! Where should we go first? The clock Tower, the Western World, or the Future World? The thing about this is it's kind of like a Capcom game where you can select any level in any order. Yeah, he's, he hid the keys in like uh, three different areas, yet it's those exact three areas. Very low budget amusement park to only have like three attractions, really. But anyways, I'm gonna stop the video right here, and next part, we'll go with one of these levels. I'm gonna go with Clock Tower. See ya, everyone.